Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an insane task to complete. As you can see in the top right hand corner, we're more or less broke. I mean, yeah, we got no money, but you're probably wondering, hey, you know, you, you didn't have all the money. Where's the brother? Uh, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna key you guys in on a, on a, on a major thing right here. It's, uh, it's nine years down the road. Nine years have passed since, since I last recorded a video on this. So, I mean, we've, yeah, he's out of farming. He's, uh, he's doing good. Last I heard he was out in Nevada climbing hills and stuff I, you know what i don't know but i'm i'm in the can right now i moved as you can see we i i built this house it's not great but hey i, I built it i got this big old setup and i bet you guys really 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 want to see the equipment so coming over here starting us off case ih 465 speed tiller this thing rips through the ground we actually just bought it new but i did demo one fantastic unverfirth right here look at this 24 row side dress rig this thing is insane man i cannot wait to use this this is new also and then look at this a grain drill we got a john deere this thing is sick and coming in hot 16 row case h high rise planner been able to cover a lot of ground with these things. We did have them detailed. Right? We as I mean I. Anywho. This Case IH Magnum 380 is our big tractor. My big tractor. This is a, my favorite tractor we have. Good lord, this thing's beautiful. We got the brand new J&M 750. We didn't need anything super big because, I mean, I've got a lot of acres, but this does it with what I run. So I love this setup. It's absolutely beautiful. 8250. NFS Case IH Axial Flow. This thing is beautiful. 16 row corn head. It is a capello. We couldn't find anything around us, so had to work with, uh, you know, what we had. This thing is beautiful, and actually, about to get busy here in a few minutes. Big tractor number two is the 335 Case IH 20 year Magnum Edition. This is our one of our planning tractors. It runs the grain drill. Works absolutely amazing. We've had it for four years now. Can't wait to get back into that. Case IH. TerraFlex, this is, I believe, I'm wanting to say 45-foot draper. We got this thing is absolutely awesome. Tears through beans, wheat, anything you throw at it. And then coming over here, we have the two pair of Black Betty Max. That's what we call them here. These things are absolutely beautiful, hooked up to the Wilson Pace setters. These things get everything done. Like I said, we don't need three, four. We just run these two, and we're able to... Uh, Run them to and from the granary pretty quickly. And then for our two older tractors, we have a beautiful tuned up 7810. Does have the rock box. And we have an 8310 hooked up to the John Deere mower, respectively. Also have two bins here. Don't really use them. We straight haul everything. And of course, if I open this, comes up slow. We got our little doggy door for Brutus. I don't know. Oh, that's right. He's at the vet. He's at the vet. How could I forget? But anywho, this is what we're working with. This is absolutely awesome we've got all the deer we've had this thing is just awesome well enough of the tour because i don't know if you were able to tell when i was taking you around or not but look at this we have a field of wheat 100 percent ready to go and i think we just come over here and uh see if it's running right it should be yeah, I think it will be. Oh yeah, this stuff is ready. So let's go grab the combine. We'll unhook the corn head. Take this over here. We'll get the trucks out. Get the auger wagon out. And uh, we'll be ready to run. So I know y'all probably miss Clayton. Hopefully he can come out here to the farm sometime and visit. Man, I'm, I'm really hoping. Because we had some great times together. The farm is still standing. Uh, we do own a field over there. But... We did sell off most of it because it was just too small for what we use now to farm, but miss it a lot. He ended up taking Grandpa's truck, so he got that fully restored. It looks great. I'll have to see if I can find some pictures for y'all, but I'm starting to really gear up for wheat harvest. So, man, man, I'm getting, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. So, the 8250 is all ready and raring to go. We just, like I said, got to pull one of the semis out. Probably pull both of them out. Probably only going to run one today. And then, of course, 
We will grab the grain car and we will be ready to hop into this thing and hopefully knock this thing out. All right, and here we go, edging out of this thing. Man, like I said, this setup is clean. Nothing beats it. We could probably run a little bit bigger of a grain car, but like I said, we make do with what we have, and uh, I th I think we're ready. We got everything set up, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing uh. Get this thing fired up. All right, get this head a spinning as fast as it's going. Let's see here. Bump that down one or two. Slow it down just a little bit. Yeah, that'll be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, look, we're doing it. We're going after it. Here we go. And look at that, the JNM is piled up. Good lord, it's time to hop in this thing and unload it. All right, so let's approach this carefully as we can. Don't want to hit the Mac over here. Let's see over here, I think we're pretty much lined up. We're close, but we're lined up. Let's see here. And there we go, it's unloading. We'll start slowly pulling forward, and we are unloading this wheat. The bushel average is a hundred and ten. That is insane. Ooh, it's getting full. Look at that. Oh, we're going to pack this thing as full as we can go. We got a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be making a run to the granary already. And also, if you didn't know, yes, we are going to double crop this. We're about to put some wheat beans in here after we get done. That's why we have the monitor on and uh, kind of looking at it, getting it all ready. Because we're going to grab the high rise after this and plant this whole field. The one I bought her when 
Alright, so we've gone ahead and pretty much brought the other Mac over here. I mean, we filled this one up. I could have ran it off and just come back, but we're trying to just go ahead and finish this field out before the day expires. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll hop back up in the 8250 case IH axial flow and get her knocked out. Here we go. Let's put the head down. Go ahead and fire her up. Okay, we got that. Alright, I think everything's all good. Let's right into it this should be our last pass right here in wheat and then we will be done with this field we have two full loads of grain plus a full grain cart and whatever we have left in this hopper so the bushels an acre was insane this is the best wheat we've ever seen in our entire life and uh, as you can see and as we're hauling the mail across the field we do have to actually plant some double crop soybeans in here shortly after that so uh, we'll have to round up the planter after we get this other wheat field done and seed some beans. Well, it's been a while, and uh, we've moved our combine and our auger wagon completely over here to our last wheat field. Now we're going to hop up in this other Mac, stage at the end of the field, and uh, I think we're going to call it a day there. We'll haul the grain first thing in the morning, but since it's already getting late and we finished this full field, I think we will retire a little early. <laughs> I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long. 